Samsung has reportedly begun mass production of the Exynos 2500 processor using its advanced 3NIM technology. According to a report from the Bell, the company is preparing for wafer testing, which could start as early as March, with MEPS Art Conductive handling the testing and processing. There is still some uncertainty regarding which phone will feature the 3NIM Exynos chip. While reports suggest it may be used in a future Galaxy Z Flip model, it remains unclear whether it will power the high-end Galaxy Z Flip 7 or a more affordable Galaxy Z Flip Fan Edition. Initially, the Exynos 2500 was expected to be included in the Galaxy S25 series, but that did not happen. Now, rumors indicate it might be used in the upcoming Galaxy S25 Fan Edition, though this is still unconfirmed. If true, this would suggest that Samsung is focusing its in-house chips on more affordable flagship models this year. Meanwhile, Samsung is also working on its next-generation Exynos 2600 processor, which will be built on a 2NIM process. This chipset could help Samsung regain its position in the smartphone processor market and is expected to debut with the Galaxy S26 series next year. The company is currently refining the production process for the Exynos 2600, codenamed Tulum, to ensure optimal performance and efficiency. With Samsung pushing forward in chip innovation, it will be interesting to see how these developments impact future Galaxy devices. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. Samsung has officially released the Galaxy S25 series and details about a cheaper Fan Edition model, the Galaxy S25 Fan Edition, have started leaking. Samsung skipped the Fan Edition version for the Galaxy S22 in 2022 but has continued releasing Fan Edition phones yearly. A report from the Alex suggests that the Galaxy S25 Fan Edition will be released in 2025. The phone is expected to have a slimmer design compared to the Galaxy S24 Fan Edition, which is 8mm thick. It's unclear exactly how thin the Galaxy S25 Fan Edition will be, but Samsung might aim to match the thickness of the standard Galaxy S24, which is 7.6mm. The report also suggests that to make the phone thinner, Samsung might use a thinner but wider battery. This is a common technique used by smartphone makers to slim down their devices. However, using a wider battery would require changes to the internal design, particularly the layout of the main circuit board. Additionally, the Galaxy S25 Fan Edition is expected to have a 6.7-inch screen, similar to the Galaxy S24 Fan Edition. Samsung had already increased the screen size with the Galaxy S24 Fan Edition compared to the smaller 6.2-inch display of the Galaxy S23 Fan Edition. Along with the larger screen, they also included a bigger 4700 mAh battery. As for the chipset, the Galaxy S25 Fan Edition specs are still uncertain. Samsung used the Exynos 2400E in the Galaxy S24 Fan Edition so they may opt for either the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for Galaxy or the Snapdragon 8 Elite for the Galaxy S25 Fan Edition. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section.